marketers, growth managers, and business owners. You're listening to the Word of Mouth Marketing Podcast by Snowball. It's growth done right. Let's do this. Hey, hey, welcome to the Word of Mouth Marketing Podcast. I'm really excited today. I've got Riley from Hawk Smart Pest Control. And the reason I've got him on our podcast today is their company was one of those few that we selected for our Giving Back Award. These are companies that are going the extra mile to do something special for their communities. So welcome to the podcast today, Riley. Hey, I'm, I'm glad to be here. Uh, it's a great day and it's a great day to talk about Giving Back. I love it. Love it. Love it. Well, mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about Hawks Pest Control, Riley, just uh, before we get into yeah, the giving yeah. back. Well, definitely. Well, Hawks Pest Control started back, I think it was 2013 now. It's been, yep, we're actually coming up on our 10-year anniversary. We have some exciting content coming out about that. But uh started out as just three founders, uh, three great guys, you know, said, hey, you know, we want to give good service to lots of people, um, you know, across the world. And they start out more, you know, door to door. And we still do that. Door to door is still great. We believe in direct contact with customers. Um, and, you know, it's just been growing like crazy. I've been here oof, almost three years. Time flies. Um, and I have seen tremendous growth. Uh, when I started, we were, I believe, 11 branches, and now we're 34 branches. So crazy growth, um, and we're able to help a lot of people, you know, protect their home. And, you know, there's nothing worse than finding a cockroach in your uh, kitchen. I love that. Uh, I live out along the Wasatch Front out here in Utah, kind of in desert country. And I can't tell you the number of times I've gotten a, a phone call from a loved one back home about spiders or about cockroaches or about something going on at home. And they do the whole, uh, you know, put a container over it and wait for dad to get home type of a thing to take care of it. So you're offering a, a great service for people. Help us understand just a little bit, Riley, what differentiates Hawks Pest Control? Well, definitely, definitely. Uh, we have the same goals as a lot of pest control companies. We want to help um you know people have you know protect their home right but what really sets us apart is uh we actually a lot of times go by hawks smart pest control we are always trying to use the most advanced techniques we have experts here they know so much about bugs and insects i'm just shocked when i talk to them um we're, we're always using the latest systems uh centricon's a huge one we use for termites uh, and so there's just a lot of innovation uh, you know, we kind of try to work as smart as we can because we know the bugs aren't going to give up. So we got to outsmart them. Love it. All right, Riley, let's talk about the Giving Back Award. Now, there were a few things that in your submission that really stood out to me. In fact, there was a handful of things. I mean, from the, the One Tree Planted Initiative to, you know, the Arbor Day stuff going on, the you know, Save the Bees Initiative, plus others. Will you just give us some of the highlights of, of some of the efforts that Hawks Smart Pest Control has been doing mm -hmm. in the last year to to really give back to the community. Yes, yes, definitely. Um, the One Tree Plan Initiative is maybe one of the most proud things I am glad to have been a part of and glad to spearhead while I'm here at Hawks. It's so simple, but it's so needed. Basically, every time we get a new customer, we pay to plant a tree. Um, One Tree Planted is a great organization that they have a 94% usage rate as their rating on a charity. That means they only use eight cents for overhead. That is great. You know the money is going to help plant trees. Um, we need to protect the environment. You know, we we sometimes fight bugs, and we don't want them in the home, but we definitely want them to have homes out there in the world. Um, from a personal standpoint, I can say I've loved camping and stuff, and so I want to protect our forests and our biodiversity. Um, and we know from an economic standpoint it's important so it's been great fantastic so there was uh planting during the month of arbor mm -hmm. day so tell us a yeah, little bit yeah, about def that yeah definitely now while the one tree planted organization you know they're great they have their pros they are great at it we wanted to be involved as well and arbor day is a great great holiday um it's really at the time of year where there's nothing else going on and we want to get involved. Uh, we had teams mainly in uh, North Carolina, but we had them throughout really the nation. Uh, they're help plant trees. I believe we planted over 80 trees, just our team. Um, and the great thing is, you know, giving money is important. It's so important. But to actually see the efforts of your work, 
was amazing. Um, we had people out there all over, uh, literally getting their hands dirty to help the environment. I love that. What about Save the Bees? Tell us about that. Save the Bees is along that similar uh, vein. Um, as you know, honeybees are so vital, not only to humans, but to the environment overall. Um, about 80%, it's estimated, of all the produce you eat at the store, so lettuce, apples, you name it, is produced by honeybees. We are part of the Save the Bees initiative. That means we do not kill bees. Um... That is just a stance we've taken. If we have a customer call in, they say, hey, we got honeybees, or we got them, we're like, that's not a wasp, that's a bee. We make sure that a beekeeper is called, and they take it from there. Um, it's important to humans to protect bees, but it's also important to the planet for us to protect the bees as well. So so tell me about that. So a beekeeper will come out and transplant mm -hmm. the honeybees from the home? How does that work? It is fascinating. Um, as you know, bees, they, they're a drone society, right? They're a hive mind. Literally, it's a beehive. Um, generally, there's different techniques, but generally what happens is a beekeeper, um, they'll smoke the bees, they kind of put them to sleep, and they get the queen. The rest of the workers always follow the queen. So like, like I said, we will always, we say, hey, we will get them in contact with a beekeeper, or we say, call a beekeeper. And if you have what you suspect a honeybee nest or hive um, on your property, if you call your local beekeeper, they will come and they will collect them. It helps them. They can generate more honey, which, you know, doesn't hurt. That's delicious. And uh, it's a humane way to, I love you know, help not, not exterminate, but relocate is what we like to do. I didn't even know that was an option. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. So, so tell us what about, uh, I know you're doing some things for breast, breast cancer research. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, um, obviously cancer is such a terrible thing. Um, I've had, you know, family afflicted with different cancers and such, and I think you'd be hard pressed to find anyone who doesn't have someone in their life who has been harmed or has to, had to struggle with that. Um, this breast cancer research month, employees individually came together um, and we work with the Breast Cancer Research Fund. Uh, they have a, also have a great rating. Um, I think it's very important to vet your charities, and they are certainly up there on some of the best. Um, and they even helped, you know, they match during Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So, you know, we worked, we came together, um, and we're always doing local things like that. Um, I don't think this was in my application, but we recently did a great event for Fight the Hunger. Um, this is an uh, organization. They basically help fight childhood hunger, which I don't see how anyone could be against that. Um, so not only do we do donations, but we do uh, they do events. So we were able to have some of our employees um, down in Florida. They went to an event where they spent a whole afternoon basically making, uh, I believe they're called hunger kits. It's basically a package of food that uh, just kind of is like, hey, here is a meal for you. So it's convenient for people who may not have, you know, the resources to cook the rice or whatever. Um, it's something that gives them food. It's immediate access. And, you know, there's no reason for people not to go hungry when we can help them out. I love that. Thank you for laying all of that out. And and knowing that there's companies out there that take this type, this type of thing seriously and really look for ways to give back. Why would you say in your own words, why is it important for a company to make that one of their values and to make it part of their mission to give back to their community? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that is one of our values. Um, I think it's important because while giving back may not, you know, it, I, we don't have to do this as a company. You know, uh, we have to file our taxes. We have to do our work. We have to do all that. And that's great stuff. And we have a great service. Um, but we live in the community. We live in the world. And the great thing I love about all the examples we point out, you know, some of them are global initiatives, one tree planted, some are, you know, people based initiatives like the Breast Cancer Research Fund, or some are just local. We have tons of branch managers and I, I love that I'm able to work with them um, because here's the thing, I, I'm here, I'm on the Wasatch Front, I love it. I don't know the struggles of people in California or Florida or Indiana, but we have people who are there and they're part of the community and we're giving back because, you know, 
we are part of the community. If there's no community, there's no Hawks. And so, you know, we got, we have to work together. Well said. Tell me, Riley, what it means for you as someone who has worked for Hawks now for three years or so. Tell me what it means to work for a company that makes this a priority. I very much appreciate it. Um, the world is scary and it's not great sometimes. Um, you know, I'll get on Twitter and I just get bummed out. Um, but when I'm able to see, like, I'm able to help make a direct change through Hawks. Uh, and I'm able to see the leadership and, and really everyone from the leadership to the bottom. Uh, these are great people and they care. It's been huge. So I'm a huge nerd. There's a very popular uh, character, superhero. Her name's Miss Marvel. Um, she has, she's even been in the movies. She has a show. But there's a quote that is in that that I love to live by. I think Hawks lives by. It says, good is not a thing you are. Good is a thing you do. We want to be out there. We want to be active in the community. It's easy to say, hey, these are our values. We believe in doing good. Anyone can do that. But when you put that into action and good becomes a verb rather than a descriptor, I think that's when you get great companies like Hawks. I love it. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, but more importantly, thank you for the good that you're doing for your customers, but then also the good that you're doing for the world through these specific initiatives. It really makes us feel like we're doing our part if we can fan the flames of companies that are doing good. We believe that word of mouth marketing is the best kind of marketing, the most authentic marketing that a company can do. And so when companies are word of mouth worthy, we like to hand them a megaphone and give them a little bit of a chance to, to tell the world about the good they're doing. So thank you, Riley, for joining. And thanks for everything that you and, and Hawk Smart Pest Control are doing for the world. Sure appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Thank you, everybody, for joining. And this has been the Word of Mouth Marketing Podcast, where not only do we share tips and tricks on how to amplify your brand and your company through Word of Mouth Marketing, but we also like to practice what we preach and actually promote those companies that are doing just that, good for the world. So thanks for joining the Word of Mouth Marketing Podcast. We'll see you next time. We know you're busy. So from us at Snowball, thank you for listening to the Word of Mouth Marketing Podcast. Want to leverage more concrete strategies, real life examples, and practical tools? Then hit that subscribe button for growth done right.